Welcome back to another Going Solar video. Today in the post we've received this, which is going to be the Grow What Data Logger. Now, um, hopefully they sent me the right one this time. Excuse the noise. There's so much power coming in at the moment, I don't want to shut it all down. So we're going to get this installed. Now normally on the box there's a barcode with the serial number. The serial number's on the back of the dongle thing. I'll just make sure it's the same number. Normally there's a barcode and you can, when you add the data logger to your app, you can just scan the barcode with your phone or your tablet and it will bring up this particular data logger with all the serial number and everything already in it. Um, for some reason there's no barcode on this so what I'm going to try and do is take a picture of that barcode on the iPad and then when it comes to adding the data logger to the app uh, I'll try and scan the barcode on the iPad. Scan the bar Bring the picture up on the iPad and scan it with my phone. Hopefully that'll work. If not, I'll just have to enter the numbers manually. It's not a big deal. So we'll get this plugged in and I'll go through how to connect this up to your router, the GrowWatch server, and then add it onto your app. So we'll see you over here. dongle's in, the red light's flashing. Uh, so when the red light's flashing, that means that the dongle is communicating okay with your inverter. When the green light flashes, uh, that is the, the dongle and the inverter are communicating and it's connected to you, your router. And when the blue light's flashing, that's when the data logger is connected to your inverter, your router and the GrowWatch server. And when the blue light's flat, when you've got it to the blue light flashing, you can then add that data logger to your app. So we're going to do that now. Um, we've got to get this into, basically you're going to generate a hotspot with this dongle. Just where it says key on the data logger, you're just going to want to press that just with a little pin or something. And it will change colour. Basically, you're, you're putting that into a different mode so that you can generate a hotspot and then you can log into that. So, so that's a solid blue colour now. So now on the iPad, I can bring up the, the dongle. And it's asking me for a password. What's that all about? Right, I've entered the password, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've joined that, and now what you want to do is op open up the browser and put in 192.168.10.100. You're now logged into your data logger, so you just put the password in again. 1234567 log in and now we're here we can select our router we need live box why is it not picking up the live box So we've entered in our router and the password and restarted this so it should go to a certain colour in a minute. 
Right, so that's gone green. What does green mean? Right, that's flashing blue now. So that should be connected to the GrowWatt server. So I'm on the phone. I'm going to bring up the Shine app, the Shine phone app. So that's picked up that uh, data logger now. Fingers crossed it configures it, because last time I was having a bit of a job with this. Twenty-four per cent. It used to count down all this lot, but then it um, just it got to 100% and then said failed. So I'm not holding out a lot of hope for it. Forty-seven percent, fifty percent. Let's take its time. And there we go. So, Mad Dog Farm. Sign in. saying that so far this month we've generated 29.5 kilowatt hours which I think is a little bit out but it's got the total right um, yeah, so it has brought all our numbers back up it's <laughs> Although we've been without a data logger for a couple of months, it's um, it's looking pretty good. 121 trees we've saved. We've reduced CO2 emissions by 2,199 kilograms. Amazing. So that's it, that's all on the phone. I'll just quickly see now if the app on the iPad has picked up the, uh, the data logger, it should have done. I won't screen record this, but I shall just tell you what's occurring. Open it up, we're back up. We're cooking on gas. Uh, so far today, we've done um, four kilowatts. It's a pretty cloudy day today, but when the power does come in, uh, it comes in. Of course, I can only data log from when I've plugged it in, so that was midday. We had some spikes earlier that was like 2,500 watts coming in because it's a cool day. Um, I've mentioned this before about how the heat really affects the panels. It really drops the efficiency right down of the, what power you can get in. Where it's a bit cool and cloudy today, when the sun does come out, it's really strong sun. The panels are cool. We get a lot of power. So I shall check on the computer. I shall check on the Hobbit's iPad because we've got the app on all of them. Um, because we like to keep abreast of information, what's coming in, what we're using. Uh, battery at the moment is at 81%, so it's all looking 
pretty damn good. Let me just go on the dashboard and see what we've done this month. I mean, it's last month it stopped at 317, but like I said, that sort of stopped. And then I... There you go, 2,300 watts coming in on six panels. That's not bad. So yeah, we won't get a full readout for August, but from August onwards, we'll be good to go. So that's how you get your dongle data logger thing to communicate with everything. That's how we do it. Uh, I will put the link in the description for the Grow Watt page, which explains it all. It's not... The instructions are not that great. It doesn't tell you it going to depth, but that's how you do it. Press your little button on there so it get, goes into hotspot mode. Log on to that. Put your router details in. And then you have to just configure your data logger and then it will just be on your app. It's really quite straightforward, but I just forgot how to do it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.